sides of a triangle measure 2 root 2, 4 and 2 root 6 units. Is it a right angle triangle? Justify. So, to check for right angle triangle, see, to check for right angle triangle, here, we need to apply like Pythagoras theorem. So, in a right angle triangle, the square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides. So, if you we'll take here A, B, C, the square of hypotenuse, A, C square equals sum of the squares of other two sides. So, here, what I'll do, first I'll take all the three sides and I'll square all of them. Then. I'll square all the sides. 4 square is 16. 2 root 2 whole square. 2 square is 4. Root 2 whole square is 2. So, 4 into 2, which is 8. So, here 2 square is 4. Root 6 whole square is 6. 4 into 6, 24. So, here see, the longest side is like 2 root 6. So, if I will replace here with hypotenuse with 24. The other two sides you can write like 8 and 16. See, these are the sides after squaring. So, hypotenuse, I will take it as 2 root 6. The other side, I can take one side as 2 root 2. The other one is 4. Now, if you will substitute, see, AC square equals AB square plus BC square. So, AC is 2 root 6 whole square. AB is 2 root 2 whole square. BC is 4 square. So, 2 root 6 whole square is 24. This is 8 and this one is 16 already added. So, 24 equals 24. It satisfies right angle triangle. So, according to converse of Pythagoras theorem, in a triangle, if square of one side is equal to the sum of the squares of other two sides, then the angle opposite to the first side is right angle. So, here angle B is 90 degrees because if you will consider AC as a hypotenuse, you should say that is it a right angle triangle? Yes, it is a right angle triangle. And if you will take triangle ABC, if you will consider triangle as ABC, then right angle is at B.